Condo Studios, where we hire studios from just £20. With professional studio engineering and production team on hand to help you with every need. From recording songs, recording monologues, or even recording audiobooks, we can help you with any of your studio needs. Make sure you check out our website, www.bigcondostudio.com. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to Meg's Music Box. And today I am joined by Layla B. Hey. Hey. So, you are about to perform at the Meg's Music Box. Going to go into the studio. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm excited, yeah. So, usually we do it the other way around. So, I get to sit in and listen to your music, so I'm excited for that. But let's tell us what you're going to be singing today. Okay, well, I'm going to start by singing a cover. I'm going to do Son of a Preacher Man. Uh, I chose that song because obviously it's everyone knows it and it's just a nice sort of song to, to get me going. Um, then I'm going to go in, I'm going to sing an original song, um, it's called Put It On. It's like a bit of an uh, R&B, sort of lo-fi, lo-fi type beat, Yeah. so it's pretty cool, um, so I'm going to sing that. And then I'm going to do um, another song that's going to be releasing on the 21st of May called The Feeling. So that's like a bit more of a dancey vibe, a bit more of like a deep house yeah. kind of so kinda quite genre. Quite a couple of genres yeah. that you do. <laughs> yeah. like, literally a, a, a real variety there. So what, what what is your favourite genre to perform? I love house music, to be fair. Do you? Yeah, yeah me, me heart belongs to house. I, just, uh, I, love, I, love, I love being out. I love, do you love like, like, giving it a bit of the... Yeah, I, love, I just love all <laughs> that. It just makes you feel good, doesn't it? Just feel good music, really, yeah. more than anything. And you never know, like you could do like a big ballad. And I think with house music as well, it just blows up. You just have to have one song and it like, just goes mental doesn't yeah. it if you get the vocals behind that so tell me a little bit about your music journey so far so what have you what what have you been singing where have you been performing okay so it started about three years ago just on like a music site you know like a um, like a music maker app just messing about with beats and just making my own sort of tracks i've got quite a few bits on soundcloud but they were never quite good enough to put fully out there do you know what I mean yeah. obviously they need mixing they need mastering they need obviously that professional touch yeah um so yeah so I've got quite a quite a catalogue of music out there um I've got a single out called get on the floor so I met a guy in um Creamfields um DJ and I just I was a bit of Dutch courage really I just sort of asked him <laughs> went I'm a singer do you want to do, do, do a song <laughs> and that's how get on the floor happen basically so um, oh my god that's amazing talk about like putting yourself out there like that is exactly what you need to do isn't it yeah I was introduced to him by a friend um and and yeah so I just thought you know what I just just ask him it's isn't now it? or never isn't it yeah. and then it's it's so it's stuck off so well done yeah so he sent <laughs> he sent me the beat and then obviously wrote the lyrics wrote the song and lockdown happened so the lyrics were inspired by like the need to get hit the dance floor oh. so it's like get on the floor you know like missing the dance floor sort of thing so that's out on all platforms at the moment i'm not singing that today because i don't have the backing track believe it or not <laughs> i was like i was looking for all my files and i was like where is I it? Have it so but well, yeah, if you want to listen it's on all platforms there so. we go <laughs> it's just an excuse for people to go and click through and, and, and go and listen to the song so you were saying to me earlier about, you know, you've always wanted to sing, you've always wanted to be involved in music, but you didn't quite have that confidence. No. So what is, what's give, been the driving force now that you, you, you're doing your music? I think it's just something I always wanted to do. And I think when, when you're younger, I think you're just so sort of het up on like pressure, like peer pressure in. Yeah. I don't know, I think like when you say, oh yeah, I'm singing and write songs, people just like, what? do you think you're what do you know what I mean and I was always like in that perception of well maybe I'm not good enough or maybe I can't do it sort of thing whereas I think that's the only good thing about getting older you sort of embrace who you are and you start to feel more confident yeah. in your own skin don't you if that makes sense you just kind of think like well do you know what I've always had this age and if I've always had this age then you know I need to explore it I need to yeah. see where where you goes. know where it goes and t- and kind of like maybe it'll fire a different edge because then you could start singing and you'd be like oh actually I like mix them better or it just you know it takes like takes yeah. its own its own journey doesn't it so you were saying as well that you you've got a family you got two boys and they insp- like they inspire you to you know go after your dreams and stuff like that so how do they react when they see mummy sing oh they don't like it <laughs> they're like oh my god i feel ashamed what you're doing <laughs> they're like no <laughs> oh well they wouldn't be saying that will they when you're like 
on the st- on a stage for like killing it. They'd be like, "It's my mom." I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your dream stage to perform on? Uh, I think Glastonbury. Everyone wants to do Glasto, don't they? Yeah, It'd just be amazing. Yeah, just so uh, like that massive, massive audience and so good vibes as well. Love Glastonbury. Yeah, can't wait to go back. Festivals, and have a isn't festival. it? And just <gasps> hands in the air. Oh, I know. <laughs> that's the thi- that's what I've missed as well. Lockdown festivals but i didn't get a ticket for this for the recent glastonbury so i'm going to be waiting a long time now so let's talk about your songwriting because obviously you've got a huge catalogue of songs and i'd just like to know what kind of inspires you to write is it life experience is it looking at other people like what type of you know what inspires you to get your creative juices flowing it's probably a mixture really i mean a lot of times like i'll just be like doing the dishes or something and something will just hit me i'll just get like a song and it'll just like jump into my mind and i'll think oh that's quite good and then obviously i'll record it and then just maybe go back to it later or work on it or something or i've been getting sent quite a lot of beats and stuff as well so people will just send me a track and i'll just listen to it and just just write lyrics yeah so i've been doing a lot doing a lot more like writing that way just sort of change me creative flow a little bit and do some are you some of your songs quite personal yeah they're not always personal to me sometimes I'll use like as you said like other people's like scenarios yeah. and situations like I've wrote one about one of me one of my best friends and every time like when I wrote it I was like yeah it's about your scenario that <laughs> <laughs> it's like offering advice in like a good way like you can't see me telling you what to do so <laughs> listen to this song get my might um inspire some change so what is um where where's the next move for you so have you got any gigs planned what what's going on yeah so I've not really planned anything yet to be honest with you in terms of gigs and stuff yeah I think obviously we're only just coming out of lockdown and stuff aren't we so it's a case of um just seeing what happens really yeah yeah just like get kind of getting getting out there and just gigging again isn't it open mics and stuff yeah yeah, yeah. obviously I've got a few a few songs come on on the way so obviously yeah. just just see how they go and then obviously try and you know get some get some work on the back of that really in terms yeah. of gigs and stuff One's coming out on the 21st. 21st of May, yeah. 21st of May, and that one you are performing today. I am. So if you love it, obviously, get some gigs in. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I can't wait to see you perform. So I'm going to go in the studio, get a little sneak peek. Love all that. Ace. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Meg's Music Box and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks so much for tuning into the Music Box, guys. I've been Meg Vincetta. You can find me on all social platforms at Meg underscore Vincetta, V-I-N-C-E-T-T-A. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you would like to get involved in any Big Condo future videos, then please don't hesitate. Get in touch.